I'm here with my cuz. Hey. Russ at russfit.com. Uh-huh. This is what a dot com looks like. Exactly. This is dot com. It's There's small, wonder. it's intimate, yeah. it's it's everything you need it to be. And right. nothing more. Okay. Yeah. Perfect fitness studio. Yeah. So what we're gonna do a zombie workout today. That's right. And we're training for a zombie apocalypse. Right, common misconception. We're not training for zombies. We're training to be able to escape, evade, and ultimately defeat a zombie horde. Oh. So this is a zombie apocalypse training academy workout. Yeah. Zada. Zada. This is Zada. We are a Zada. Check the logo. You'll see that spelled out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's start off with one minute drills. You're going to do one minute of BOSU push-ups. Uh -huh. I'm going to do one minute of hanging chin-ups on the rope. Okay. And this is basically uh, training to the muscles that help you crawl under stuff to get away from zombies. Crawling under stuff to evade zombies. Because they're not as good at crawling under stuff. Cr no, they're because much... Zombies are, zombies are great at doing this. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if you can get away, if you can dive, if you can... Get yeah. over the top of something to evade or capture. Yeah. They may stumble and try to get around the vehicle. Anyway, you jumped over it, you're on your way. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm going to do what I call a mountain chin up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stand on one of these one of these knots and simply pull myself up and down, you know, as the rope is turning and as I'm moving. So there's there's a three-dimensional component to the to the chin up motion. So your muscles get taxed, your nervous system gets taxed, uh -huh. and you got to be able to do it for a minute. And zombies would suck at that. They would, but plus you're, you're prepared then to have the right grip strength, your lats are in shape, yeah. to climb a rope eventually, yeah. you can't do it now. Right. As well as to swing on a rope and just generally get out of the way of oncoming zombies. When you mark, I'm going to watch that clock on the wall, uh -huh. get set. And time. Oh. So now we switch. Switch. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one. That would be better with those. Yeah. There's also a good biological reason for that because it's been shown that one drop of zombie blood is more than enough to infect you. That's right. To an open wound. Yep. There's, it could be a small opening you don't even know about. Yeah. And if you're not used to exercising with safety gloves, you're at a disadvantage. Right. Next, something a little more traditional. Dumbbell military press. Uh-huh. And push downs. Tricep push downs? Tricep push downs. Okay. Three, two, one. And a burn. Trade. Trade. And your mark. And you sat. Still get set. <laughs> and go. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh -huh. Next, we're going to do volleyball jumps and spider head abs. Okay. Step. Block. Uh, block. Okay. While the other person is doing Spider Man abs. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Yeah. 
Ready? Set. Go. You want extra? Do a double tap. You need a tricep. Yep. Time. So, and yeah, it's good. Zombies are easily fooled. Uh -huh. If you see a pile of dead bodies, uh -huh. you know you can't escape, uh -huh. blend in. Now, assume a position oh. that would indicate that you are one of the deceased. Right. Uh, right hand forward, left hand to your side. Uh -huh. The horde is just escaping. Uh -huh. You have reason to believe that you've got to get out of there. Yeah. They're behind you now. Your job is to get to a standing position as quickly as possible in this fashion. Oh. Pop up. Uh, I call them surfer pop ups. Back down. Five in a row.
Good. Okay, three, two, one, go. see I ran out of battery on my good camera so now we're using my cheapo pocket cam so last exercise for zombie apocalypse training academy is what Our sledgehammers oh yeah buddy yeah. you got to be able to wield a sledgehammer in a zombie apocalypse no question about it oh yeah buddy <laughs> 